very sunny but cold morning this morning. Our third day of early sowings. Day after Valentine's Day and I'm going to start sowing the, the Calabrese and some cauliflower today and I might risk a couple of other things. All these seeds will be taken into the house to germinate. As soon as they've germinated they'll come down into the greenhouse or the polytunnel. First off I'm going to grow a cabbage called the earliest of all. I'm going to get these planted and get them germinated in the house. So today because I am sowing outdoors I can water as I go. I just don't like doing it in the small little grow house I have. I always wet the surface first before any sowings so I know that it's plenty moist enough. Now I've not grown these ones before but we're going to be doing these ones and greyhounds I do believe. So we're going to try a few of these earliest of cabbages and a few greyhounds as well. Now we do eat a lot of cabbages and I'm just literally going to sprinkle on the top. Now the thing is with the cabbages I can always find room if the main bed gets a little bit full and I also like to give to some of the other allotmenteers or family members. Put most of those here. Another one we're going to do is Golden Acre. Hey <laughs> Just going to put those in there while I remember. I quite enjoyed these last year. They were okay. They seem to do quite well as well. Now with my cabbages, because obviously it's quite a glut, what we normally do is we'll chop them up and put them in the freezer and then we've just got sliced cabbage to use. A lot of the times when I use them from the freezer they're absolutely fine and we don't ever have any issues in general. It normally lasts about a year. I'm still using some cabbage that we grew last year. It's starting to go a little bit yellow, but in general, it's still good. I'm thinking about making some minestrone soup with some of the leftover veg that we grew last year that I've got in the freezer. That could do with being used. Now, I really like the greyhounds. I think it's got a really nice flavour. Nice pointy variety as well. And again, we didn't have any issues last year with this one either. So with the greyhounds, I'll sow these and then I may do some more later on. Now with these, I'll plant them in the seed tray. And we'll just top them up lightly with a little bit of loose. compost. And again, one more bit of watering. Let that drain and that's ready to go in the crate to go home. So we're going to do some cauliflower and I'm going to use a model, module tray. I'm just going to compact it down a little bit. Now cauliflower, we didn't have much luck last year. They grew, they were just tiny, tiny, tiny heads that blew quite quickly. So we're going to give them another go this year. 
probably should have went with a different variety than what we had last year. Now I'm going to multi-sew these and then I'll probably thin them out before we put them out. Trying to be careful here. Again, I'm going to be, with some of these, if we have excess, I'm going to randomly plant them in different places and see how much of a difference our nets actually have. So I used to be really, really careful with sowing seeds. I'm not anymore. Unless it's a very, very expensive seed. But now they just go in. Lightly cover the top. I want to firm it down so the seeds are coming to contact with it. Okay. Broccoli. Now we have different varieties of broccoli. And we got a good crop off it last year. I just don't think we grow enough of them to actually be able to enjoy it all through the year. In general, we'll use almost a whole head of broccoli for a meal or two. Another good thing about broccoli, it actually freezes quite well. Frozen broccoli is not everyone's cup of tea, but if you're trying to get the most out of your plot, you have got to come up with ways of storing your food. Now freezing for me is just convenient and easy. It's always better fresh. So I'm going to try again some reduced seed that we had. 10p from B&Q. Now it is out of date so I don't actually think that these are going to work. I'm finding that the use by date is actually pretty far gone anyway. So I think even before the use by date is actually done, I think the seeds in general have lost a lot of their germination. And I'm just literally gonna use the whole packet. Because there's no point keeping it. And this variety is called, this variety is called an Atlantis. Not grown this one before. So it'll be interesting to see if it does. Because they've had a good water, I probably won't have to do this again for another week at first. Also got some Wilco broccoli. We're gonna try and do that one. Now this one, is in date, so I'm kind of hoping that this will be absolutely fine. I think we're going to extend some of our beds next year, depending on how the compost goes, our own mix. I want to be able to get a little, squeeze a little bit more in and either the length or the width of them. Because who doesn't like a bit of extra length? So this is just autumn green calabrese. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with these ones because these seeds are fine. And I'm just going to plant three to prick out if we need be. Now I try and multi-sow as much as what I can because one, it, cut down, it cuts down cost of compost. Can't put seed back into the seed packet if you've got mud 
or moisture on your hands. It will just ruin the rest of the seeds, which I don't want. Just a bog standard one. And I'm just going to lightly cover the top. Now there's several families of robins here and there's a couple that's actually getting quite tame. I think because they're territorial, I think it's old young ones that have also met the top of home here. But he really does love to come down and sit right next to me or sit by my foot. 